Hello and good day, all my guitar players. Um, if you have made it to this video, which is episode five, uh, we should go ahead and call you a guitar player because you've made it thus far. Um, today, I'm going to somewhat piggyback off what uh, we were talking about in some of the earlier videos, but um, we're going to be moving to the lower string, so kind of skipping the middle area for right now. Um, so let's go to the E and the A string, and unlike the other videos, I'm going to have to raise myself up here yep. so you can see the guitar because I'm not that good looking anyway. So uh, let me try and back up here. Actually, sorry, new device, new way of shooting. But okay, so what we're going to first talk about is the uh, G major scale. Remember, I always said scales, 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 scales. I'm telling you, it's the foundation. Uh, but with this particular one, we are going to focus on using a particular finger or fingering. Uh, so we're going to start on three of the E with your middle finger. Assuming you're all tuned up, it should sound like that. Then we're going to go to the fifth fret of the low E with our pinky. Then we're going to go to the second fret of the A with our index. Then to the third fret of the A with our middle. Then to the fifth fret of the A with our pinky. Then to the second fret of the D string uh, with our index. Ring fingers going uh, going to four. Same string, the D string. And then the last note of that octave would be on the fifth fret of the D string. I'm gonna go through that one more time going fours. Uh, giving you the notes, it's going to be a G on three, a A on five, a B on that two, a C on that three, a D on the five, a E on the two, F sharp on the four, and a uh, another G on the five. And of course, yes, you want to play that backwards also. So five, four, two. Five, three, two, five, three. That was not uh, in any sort of rhythm. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that. And again, the, so piggybacking from the earlier lessons, the arpeggio for that in one motion, like one position, you would play three of the E. That's your one, or the first note we played, the first interval, uh, to the three, which would be on two of the A, the B note. So G to a B, then on the A string still, the D note on the fifth fret with the pinky, and then you got your high one directly down. La, 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 la. Um, yeah, that's that. So, the two chords I want to show you really quickly that are really, really easy, even if you're just starting. Uh, for now, I want you to just think about just playing the E and the A strings, just these bottom two thick strings. Um, what you're going to do is put your index, actually it's much like playing the arpeggio we were just doing, put your middle on three of the E and that index on two of the A. If you hit those together, that is, if you hit those together, that is a G major chord. Uh, I think I mentioned before that the third between uh, or recalling that one, three, and five are the basic uh, intervals needed to, or excuse me, the intervals needed to make a basic chord. Recalling that, that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're using the one and the three to make a G major. But I, I, what I didn't say was I believe that I mentioned that the three is a distinct note. So you can tell very quickly that that's a, a happy chord major. Major usually translates into happy. Uh, and then the second one we're going to be playing is going to be a E. Technically, if we're only hitting those two strings, it's an E natural. There's no tonality to it. But uh, later you will realize that that E is in fact a, a E minor in relation. Uh, I won't get super deep into that right now. But basically, this pattern, which if not... For this video, maybe the next video, I do have a uh, practice track that is doing this exact same thing. I've got it open right now. I'm going to mute 
the recorded guitar and give you the click which is going to be at 82 beats per minute uh, we're going to strive to do uh, eighth note strums which means two notes per beat and in this particular case uh, just down strokes is okay uh, if you want to try doing uh, alternating that's fine too but I'm going to demonstrate both I guess very quickly so here we go at 82 beats per minute and one two three four So basically, though, um, either one is fine. Um, you could also, uh, if that was a struggle, you could make it just quarter notes, which would be in sync with the click, meaning every time the click clicks, you would play a note. I'm going to demonstrate that. And one, two, three, four... your fancy but the, the other point I wanted to make and I'm gonna wrap this up here uh, the other point I wanted to make I'm just gonna hold the video the other point I wanted to make is that they were both uh, two measures long so if you're playing quarter notes which was what I was last doing that would be a total of eight strums per note if you're doing the eighth note strums uh, which is two per note double that so you would play each note uh, 16 times total if you were counting but uh, I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.